Uh, help! Stop, 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 stop. Um, I, I can't. My, my, my brakes don't do anything now. Hello and welcome back to Offered Outlaws, y'all. And in one of my previous Offered Outlaws videos, one of my recent Offered Outlaws videos, we ran this Nova around a trophy truck course on slick tires and a setup that was not intended for trophy truck courses at all. And it got me wondering... How fast would this thing be in the mud if we put mud tires on it? So today, that is what we're going to do, and we're going to see if it's faster than one of my fastest vehicles that I have ever built. And that is what we're going to be doing for the rest of this video. And the actual build isn't really going to be all that in-depth. I'm literally going to take this exact setup and swap out the tires. That's it. I'm going to put probably these paddle spec tires on it, and these absolutely shred in the mud. They're faster in the mud than pretty much any other tire that I have ever tested. So we're going to go ahead and apply those. And then now that those are applied, I'm basically going to test it as is. And then we're going to see if we can make any other little, like, tweaks and adjustments to see if we can make it even faster. But before we do that, we have to go into the garage and grab the vehicle that this thing is going to be running against. And I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that my, that my game doesn't crash because I have so many... There it is. Now, if y'all have watched my channel in the past, you'll know that this is probably... I mean, it looks absolutely ridiculous and stupid in every possible way. But due to the way the Offered Outlaws physics system works, this is essentially my fastest mud vehicle that I have ever built. And what we're going to do is we're going to load this onto the trailer, and then we're going to tow that trailer with the 6x6, the AMG 6x6, and we're going to take both of them out to a mud drag course, and we're going to see genuinely which one appears to be faster. Now, one of these is actually going to be... One of these is probably going to be faster, but I don't imagine... It It'll be faster by that much. I'll be really surprised if it is. So we're going to do a couple of adjustments, but it's going to be five times drone speed, no vehicle damage, and NOS, but that's going to be it. We are not turning on uh, extra grip. We are not modifying the grip at all. This is the way that this, like, that the grip model would be for literally anybody. So we're going to jump into TC's quick race with both vehicles, and we're going to see what these are all about. I'm still thinking that the AMG 6x6 is probably going to have it by a little bit, but I don't think it's going to have it by much. I mean, if the, uh, if the freaking Nova blows it out of the water, I will be absolutely shocked. Now, we're going to do a run without nitrous and then a run with nitrous just to kind of compare and contrast and see how... Whoa! Okay. These wacky suspension setups were not built for towing trailers. All right, we're going to go ahead and detach. And we're going to set our baseline run in this just to see what we're up against. So let's go ahead and get this thing lined up real quick. Whoa! Easy. Get you backed up. All right. Three... Two, one, let's go! I mean, it's already properly quick, and this isn't even a fully refined suspension setup. I could make this suspension setup a lot better. I just haven't, like, torn it apart and really figured it out yet. So let's go! Ooh, easy there! Not bad, though. Not a bad run whatsoever. A little bit iffy at the end. We did kind of hit that last bump in it. What the? I've never done that before. I don't know why it did that, especially right there. That was really odd. But, like, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm just confused. Easy. And spin it around. Well, or not. I grabbed a whole bunch of handbrake, and it did not want to spin around. I don't know why. All right, now it's time for the Nova. And oh, I love how instead of driving off of the trailer, the Nova just shoves the trailer out from underneath it. That's beautiful. I don't know. This thing might have a faster run in it. I mean, it's really low to the ground, but for some reason, I'm not imagining that'll hold it back. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Holy crap. Oh, my God. That suspension, though. 
I don't know if it's faster though. I don't think it's. Oh god. I don't think it's faster. I I really don't think it is. Like it's very quick, but I don't think it's faster. However, I think we could make it faster for sure. Like, I think we can make it faster down that course if we spent a little bit of time in the tuning, and that is what we're about to do now. However, let me hop out of this thing real quick because there's a bunch of birds. Like, a bunch. Hello! Do I get anything from that? Well, I mean, obviously I get something, but do I get anything, like, worthwhile, or is it just gonna be, like, what? Like, a grand? Yeah, I knew it! I knew it. The game loves to do that to me. What do you bet that one's gonna be, like, a bunch? Specifically because it's, like, all the way on the other side of what we were doing. Alright, let's hop back in. Let's head on over there, just see what we got for that bird. And then we're gonna go back to the shop. Oh god, ow. Come on, Ooh, easy. And stop. Alright, what about this one? Another one? Really? Another, like, grand? Sheesh, they're really, like, stingy with these birds today. All right, let's go ahead and change up the setup on the Nova and see if we can get it to be a little bit more mud-focused. We're about to get really, really dumb. So let's see. Wheel radius is already a 0.7 in the front. We're going to bring it down to a 0.5. Oh, no. Wheel radius in the back is going to come down to a point six. This is where I think if you are bothered by stuff like this, you should probably click away because it's not going to get any better. Now, let's see. Gear tuning, we might need to uh, mess with this just a little. First gear is going to... Oh, God. All right. Yeah, these are going to get a lot shorter. Oh, we're about to give this thing proper, like, mud drag tuning. 1-1 one, one, and point, uh, point 0.9. That should be, that should be about there. That should work. Now, suspension tuning. I'm going to actually leave it alone for now because I'm not really too worried about the suspension tuning itself because I think that now that we've dialed in the gears and brought down the size of the tires just a little bit, I think that this thing could very possibly just shred right out of the box now and be way faster than it was last time we tested it. So, we're going to go ahead and go directly to TC's Quick Race again and see if our adjustments, uh, you know, admittedly kind of ridiculous adjustments, made it any better. And I think they... I think they will. I think they will make it better, or at least better solely in the sense that it'll be better at getting down the course, but not really all that much better in any other aspect. All right, let's see what this thing does when we take off. All right, three, two, one, beans. Oh my God. Uh, help. Stop, 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 stop. Um, I, I can't, my, my, my brakes don't do anything now. Okay. So this went well. Um, I'm very curious as to what it's going to do down the drag strip now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Let's bring you a little closer to the line. Let's see what kind of speeds we can hold. Three, two, one, send. Oh, wait. Actually, no. Repair. And then three, two, one, send it. Ow. I should have done no damage. Ah! Oh, wow. Um, apparently getting some Tony Hawk action going on on the wall. Not bad, but we really need to turn the damage off. Because if we don't turn the damage off, we're going to have to repair the entire car every single run and also the suspension leaves a little bit to be desired so let's see damping we'll do 3000 in the front and we'll do like 2900 in the back and then we'll do travel max oh my god this is about to be really bad oh it's about to be really bad oh this is about to be so bad 
some some of y'all are not going to be able to handle this. I, I am already very well aware of that. All right. Uh, we're about 3,000. That's fine. I'm not worried about, like, any of the other points of tuning. And now, we wash the vehicle because, like, that's gonna matter. I mean, but yeah, like, that's gonna actually matter for anything. Physics, just, uh, just no vehicle damage. That's all we're gonna do. Finally, back to TC's quick race for the run that I think is gonna put this thing in, maybe not the record books, but it's definitely gonna be a properly quick one. And it's gonna be one that I will be able to race hopefully successfully oh geez oh this is this is dumb looking and go look at that speedometer oh wow and look how effortless effortlessly it went over that bump i actually have a feeling this is gonna do really well all right three two one full send oh my god what oh ow Okay, apart from spinning, like, if we can keep it going directly ahead, we might have an Insano machine on our hands. Okay, with a better rhythm and no spins, this would be perfection. Like, this is stupidly good. I know it looks stupid as well, but, I mean, it works, and it works way better than it has any business working. All right. One more time, and we're going to attempt to do this without spinning. And send! All right, over the first jump, not too bad. There we go! Just trying to keep the wheels on the ground. That's the biggest challenge with this thing. Oh, no. Okay, not as bad as that one run with the spin. And boom! Across the line. Okay. Not... A perfect run, but way better than the first one. And what I have to admit about this thing is it's, you know, as silly as it looks, it is one of the fastest vehicles I've ever built in Off-Road Outlaws. And that's definitely saying something. But if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time.